last video, I showed you how to make a very simple four-function calculator using simple logic. In this video, however, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but with functions. So, with functions, the first a few things are going to change here. First of all, we need prototypes. Now, you don't have to do prototypes. You can just simply write the functions and then call them back in your main. But I think that code readability is much, much more better with prototypes. So, what we're going to need to do is make a prototype for every single one of these things. So, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And just for fun, we might as well make a uh, prototype to get our inputs. So, our first prototype will be. Um, um, so we'll do it a void uh, get num and it will uh, we'll do double x double y and then we'll do a um, double add it really doesn't matter if it's double we'll do a void uh, add double x double y and we can copy and paste this guy. And we'll do sub. We'll do div. And we'll do mul. So we have all of these. And as you can see, they're all underlines, but it's because none of them have actual functions. So we're going to come in here. We're going to make this guy small. And we're going to go ahead and make our functions for each of these. First of all, let's get num. The next one is add. The next one is subtract or sub. The next one is div or division. The next one is mul or multiply. And in each of these now, we're going to do exactly what we did in here. So first of all, we need to do get num. We should probably go ahead and get do a get avoid get op with a string op. Just to make sure everything's nice and pretty. So right here, we'll do a void get op needs to be typed exactly as it is up there. Okay, so everything should be happy, yes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get num. So in here we're going to see out essentially what we did in here. Please enter your first two, enter numbers. So we'll go ahead and steal this and put it in here. Of course it's x and y however. <clears throat> so, um, yes, and then we're going to go to get up and we're going to do the same thing. And then we are going to do our add and etc. So we're going to say uh, double res equals x plus y. C out res in line. Oh, silly me. Those arrows always get me. Oops. And we can copy and paste this now. And finally, multiplication. Okay, so now all of these are done. And these will all work very happy. Make these guys a little bit smaller because there's no need for all that extra space in there. Beautiful. 
So then we'll go to our main here. And we can go ahead and drop all this except the return zero. Okay. And if you're wondering why we have to put that return zero, it's because this is a int main function. I mean, we could just do a void main function, but then um, you can't return anything. And I don't like it. So what we'll do now is we will first of all do get get num double x. So excuse me. First second. And then we will get op op. The next thing we need to do is to check what the op is. So I think the best way to do so would be to actually um, go ahead and just do a void operation string op. And we'll do this just to keep things uh, out of the main. And in here, we will check op as we did here before, before I deleted it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is um, if op equals equals um, plus but instead of doing first plus second or second, yeah, uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to call the add function here. So we're going to call add, excuse me, we need to uh, pass op double x double y. So if op equals plus, we're going to add x, y. And this will then call the add function and see out the result. And then we'll do the same thing. Else if op equals equals um, minus, we'll use sub x, y. So on and so forth. As you all saw last video, if it equals division, we'll divide these two. Else if, if it equals multiplication, we will multiply these two. Else we will uh, return an error here, return one as an error code. Excuse me, it's a void function. So we will just see out um, error in operation. <laughs> and um, something we could just do here is we could uh, we could make a boolean. We can make this a boolean instead. We'll go ahead and do this. We can make this a boolean. And at the very end here, return 1 is true. Or else return 0 here. So here, you don't need this. If it returns 0, we need to check this. So we'll check it down here. So operation op first second operations capital but it's a boolean so here we're going to do this and the if statement if do 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 see out Error in operation in line, and in here we can return an error code of one. This is just good practice. Keeps you from making stupid bugs, stupid mistakes. 
All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so everything should work great here, right? I'm wrong. <laughs> All of these aren't passed by reference, and they need to be passed by reference. So let me go ahead and pass these all by reference or else the values won't change. Um, actually, let me go ahead and run the program as it is and show you all what happens if it's not passed by reference. All these aren't passed by reference. In case you didn't know to pass a value by reference, you need to add an ampersand in front of it with this little and sign. And that will pass by reference, which will then allow the values to be changed throughout the program, but they're not, they're all just there. So the, all these values will do something, but it, it will return the same thing as it had here, zero. So let me go ahead and run this program, and let me show you the output. So here we are in the command line. So we'll pick one and two as we do. We'll do addition. It says error in the operation. Now why does it say that? Everything should be working fine, right? So let me take you back to the program and show you the issue. So here we are back in the program. So we get this error in the operation, so which means that it is definitely here returning zero. Why though? So up here, we'll see. as I told you earlier, you already know, it's because I'm not passing things by reference. So if we see out all of these things, so we see out all these things right here. And this is the last step. This is the last function that we go through. Everything else da, 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 doesn't matter. Excuse me. Let me go ahead and add this too. Yep. Okay. Just for when this will finally work. So. I've added these uh, cout statements. Let me take you back to the program and show you what it outputs. Okay, so this is what the cout statements now. Let's see what it outputs. As you can see, blank, zero, zero, and then we get that error in the operation, of course, because uh, there's no operator. So, this is because none of the values are passed by reference, none of the values are changing. That string is still null, and these two uh, first and second double variables that I've declared in the main function are still set to zero. So let's go ahead and pass these things by reference. I'll take you back to the program and show you what to do. Here we are back in the program with nothing passed by reference. So let's go ahead and button these up here. Okay. So what we gotta do is just throw an ampersand everywhere. And I think the easiest way to go back and fix such an issue is just by uh, control V pasting this all over this isn't too bad of a mistake as it's much worse if there's a lot of uh, variables and code this is a very simple program as you can see it's only 60 lines here so we have to do the same thing for all the functions as well as, as we did with the prototypes and we should see all those green lines disappearing Slowly but surely. Alright. So everything should be happy now. As you see, there's no more of those green lines here. And we'll go ahead and run the program now, and I'll show you the output now. And we should still, yes, we still have these out statements, so you'll see the values change. Okay, I'll take you back. So once again, here we are back in the command line. So we'll go ahead and enter 1 and 2 and plus and as you can see it's plus one and two and then the output is three and then it shows you plus one and two and three now this is because of all of my cout statements so let me go ahead and fix the cout statements and then i will show you now what it will look like properly okay so i've just removed those three cout statements from the operation function as well as the second call in the main function so now when i do one and two and uh, plus, it will show you a 3, which is the addition of those two. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and please watch more videos.